Ooh, this is perfect. See, for, uh, this is what's the perfect angle. Over the wall, you wipe them while they can't hit you. Perfect angle. This is exactly what you want every single time in a team fight. Did you see the poison pop? Hey, what's up, guys? Darkbreaker here, and in today's video, we are going to play the new champion Twitch. I think you guys are going to be very excited about him because um, he's a very cool ADC champion that can be used AP, full crit, or even in the jungle. I've been told, or even the devs have, have have been saying it, that this champion is viable in the jungle as well. So the the plan for today is first game. Um, it's gonna be a bot game, so uh, I will quickly hop right into it because I wanna just record. And then later, by the time you're watching this video, I will also stream, and we are gonna try to find some PvP games playing him in the jungle and playing him full ADC or uh, crit, full crit, by the way. But for now, I will show you the potential of how to play this champion, full AP, and what the build is gonna be, okay? I'm gonna talk about his abilities as well, so you guys will understand how this champion works. And if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Don't miss out on all the other videos. And I just want to make sure to get the, the video out ASAP, because first surf gets all the views. That's how it works. That's how YouTube works. So, first thing, let's go for the AP build. What do I think is going to be good? Nash's Tooth, then um, a Rubberdon's Death Cap. Leandri's Riftmaker. I mean, I, I've, I've asked Doom to be... To be fair, I've asked Doom about the build. He's not Leandri's. I thought we would run Infinity Orb. Riftmaker as well. And then Void Stuff. I think the reasoning is the synergy. I think the synergy with your passive is the reasoning why he's going Leandri. But if you don't want Leandri and you want more burst damage, you could probably also go for the Infinity Orb. Also, Leandri synergizes well with the Poison, like with the second ability. I think the main reason is yeah, you're popping in the second ability and you're just doing so much percentage damage with the Leandri then. True damage plus percentage damage in combination. And for the boots, I guess this. And then maybe stasis. And for the runes, there are different options. Electrocute for the burst damage. Lethal tempo to stack up the poison. I think lethal tempo is better on full crit though. Conqueror gives you AP and Omni Vamp. Or Kraken Slayer for true damage in combination with your ultimate. I think Kraken Slayer or Lethal Tempo are what you're building on crit Twitch. But on AP, I think it's Conqueror. Then maybe Lifesteal or Scaling or Giant. There are so many options, I'm not sure. Tank Meter, Giant Slayer if they're tanky. If you want Lifesteal, this. If you want more Scaling damage, this. And if you want stronger early game, then Brutal. And then probably bone plating and Nimbus Cloak. Um, I would just run vampir uh, Vampirism. But yeah, this is what I would build on Twitch. And let's hop right into it, I guess. Okay, don't mind me. I'm going to play against bots. If you guys are interested about how the PvP games will be, and trust me, guys, I will probably stomp against normal PvP players as well. Like, and just trust me on this one, okay? Just trust me on this one, there's not much difference. I just want to showcase you guys the, the abilities and how this champion works first. I want, get it, I want to get the video out ASAP, and then I will upload jungle Twitch as well and full crit Twitch. Or maybe I will do both uh, in the jungle video. Let's see. But let's get started. I hope you guys will enjoy it, and let's hop right into it. I'm, I'm interested to see how this champion works as well. So anyways, for the skill order, it's gonna be second ability first, then third ability, 
in the early game like you're starting with the second ability then the third ability and then the first ability but the maxing order is third ability second ability and then first ability let's summarize and talk through all of the abilities quickly it's gonna be very very easy and straightforward so the passive is deadly venom you can stack up true damage um two dot damage against the opponents i'm so laggy wow i'm laggy i am laggy 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 jacks please move come on be a good bot be a good bot ai 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 move ai yes yes you know i pinked you back now you know you have to go back oh, he's jungle anyways <laughs> okay first ability is your ambush uh, this ability gives you movement speed it camouflages you and once you get out of this you um you get attack speed second ability is your poison cast they get slowed down and you're applying your poison onto them Ooh. and third ability is where you activate and burst the opponents with a recast to proc all of your poison stacks so this is why this is your main source and it's scaling with ap so it's very good for burst damage or to burst your opponents down Oh, I need third ability, by the way. Ah, okay, I need level 2. The moment I have level 2, I can kill them. Let's see how much damage I will do with the poison, by the way. Ooh, nice. Ooh, I'm trolling. Oh, it's close. I'm laggy as fuck, though. Dude, AI is landing more binds than challenger center players. Not kidding. Dude, it's so laggy with 250 ms by the way. Oh wow. Okay. Let's use the camouflage. Oh, he's jumping in. Perfect. No poison. Oh, camouflage. Oh, run, run, run. Nah, this is risky. And the ultimate gives you piercing uh, auto attacks. And it waits. What was it again? Piercing auto attacks and additional attack damage. I mean, Twitch is very easy. I think the coolest combo is when you play Twitch with Shen. You can go invisible next to opponents shen is using ultimate on you and they don't even see shen coming and then you just nuke them all like twitch is all about flanking like assassination very similar to evelyn i would say like playstyle wise remember it's very similar to evelyn i guess okay you can see the area where they're seeing me i'm so laggy i can't even auto attack correctly and this is against ai's i can't even auto attack dude i can auto attack what is this He's jumping in. Exhaust. You have slain an enemy. Why is it so laggy? It's laggy to the point where it's almost unplayable. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's very laggy. Sorry for that one, but I, I can't do anything about it. Wow. No, it's almost unplayable. Fuck. One, two, three. Keep out attacking. Four, five. Pop. How many stacks can you get in total? Yeah, five stacks. Uh, six six stacks in total so you better count up when you want to use the third ability like obviously you want to have max stacks onto the opponents then you can proc the third ability and especially with the ultimate you can land everyone or mark everyone with the second ability they are in the poison they are getting stacks and then with the ultimate auto attacks as well and once everyone has like six uh, stacks you're using your ultimate and then you're just nuking them or you're using your third ability I just wait for them to come close. Okay, it's ran out. The more points you have into queue, the longer your thing lasts, I guess. 
Okay, that's great. Yikes. <laughs> it's so laggy. Fuck. I wonder why it's so laggy though. I can barely play. I should have exhausted him immediately. It's worse than any other time I was doing this, by the way. It's probably the worst time I'm having these type of lags right now. Like, usually it's not this bad, but it's very bad right now. Ultimate? I think she gets him. Okay, I will get some movement speed. Oh, she got him. Well played. AI OP. This guy keeps jumping in, by the way. How did my third ability not kill him there? Yeah, X, bro. Oh, it's still because of the poison. Uh, I said to red acro because of the poison. But yeah, I guess it's very scaling. Hmm. I'm thinking about the runes. I'm thinking about if maybe lethal tempo is just easier because you can stack up easier your poison. Maybe you should run lethal tempo. It would definitely make it easier for you to stack up the poison once you're like once you get out of your first ability it would make it much easier to get out of the poison what do you guys think what do you guys think is the best item for ap twitch and what runes do you think are the best for him right now we are we are lacking pc runes that they would use on ap twitch wait what is it called again mm. ha hail of blades we don't have hail of blades i guess that's something they would use normally Hmm. Personally, I think I would run Lethal Tempo, personally. Especially since your ultimate will also be better with Lethal. Because your ultimate gives you AD, so you still do a lot of hybrid damage. Like, it's not only AP damage, you also do a lot of hybrid damage. Yeah. Because your ultimate synergizes better with Lethal Tempo. And it's easier for you to stack up. I think I would run this then. Okay, let's see. I think Grakan wants to engage any second. He lands this. Oh, he actually lands on me. Dude, the ultimate range is short. I couldn't even press ex I pressed exhaust, but it didn't come out. Like, uh, yeah, you see? The lag? 500 MS spike. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, I'm telling you, this Rakan plays better. <laughs> the Rakan plays better. If you're watching my streams, this Rakan plays better than the Grandmaster Botland players I'm getting. I, I swear to God, Chinese AI players play better than the average Grandmaster player in my lobbies. Like, I don't know if you have been watching my streams lately, but I have Botland players that go 0-17. Like, they are 0, 08 and 0, 09. I'm not kidding. It's horrible. Oh, I, didn't oh, I misclicked. I fucked up, actually. Ooh. 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 Oh, I'm messing up. Uh, I didn't put the points into second ability. I put it into first. Yikes, my bad. But to be fair, um, how much attack speed do you get? It gives you more attack speed, to be fair, and more camouflage, to be fair. But second ability is better. Second ability gives you 
Uh, less cooldown. Oh, I'm trolling. I was looking at the screen. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I entered. Ah, my bad. I was looking at the website. My bad. I'm telling you, if I was playing on a normal MS, it would be way easier to do all the things. So what you want to do normally is, you come out of camouflage, you activate your ultimate, second ability, pew 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 pew, in a good angle where they can't engage on you immediately, and then you pop your third ability once you have six stacks. That's what you're doing, majority of the times. So, you walk up, you flank, pop 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 pop, one, two, three, and then third ability, and they just pop. And normally, you want to position yourself in a way that you won't get collapsed on. For example, now against a Rakan, I need to position myself in an angle or good ambush position that I will not get engaged on immediately. And I use and I abuse the fact that I'm just splashing onto them, best case. I don't play this champion, so... Um, trust me, the moment I play this on Europe server, it will be like way, way better. Way, way better, but still mind me. We are trying to learn and understand this champion together. I hope you appreciate it. We're doing it together. Ooh, exhaust. And he's dead with a poison. And I also need to understand the limits of how much burst damage you're doing with the third ability. Because I feel like it would be a lot once you have six decks, Ooh, okay. You will get slowed down now. Okay, and how much does the third ability do? Ooh, it's a good amount of damage though. You are on a killing spree. I'm not sure if Infinity Orb is not better burst damage. What do you guys think? Infinity Orb versus Leandri. Leandri has the synergy with the second ability for the percentage damage and your passive because your passive does two damage. I die. Okay, don't die. Let's reset. I think I'm gonna get stasis. CDR plus stasis. I don't have enough. Or life steal boots. No, I think I'm gonna go CDR boots. I wonder if you use the third ability, do you immediately proc all? Mm -hmm. Deals physical damage to all nearby enemies affected by deadly venom. Plus an additional blah blah blah. Per stack. Okay. Okay, now this is the situation. Oh, I'm in thing. I just straight up into this. Ah, <sighs> my bad. Nah, best case you're splashing them in a line there where you're hitting everyone. That's what you need to do. Position yourself in a line where you're hitting multiple people at the same time and then you can proc them all with the third ability that's what you want to do it's like an Evelyn ADC ADC Evelyn literally ADC Evelyn playstyle wise so I want to walk up right now and try to flank on them and see position myself correctly as well so I'm going to use this and now pop 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 Bop, bop, third ability, proc, bam. This is how you want to flank. Exactly like this, all the time in team fights. Especially if they are occupied with your allies, you want to come from an angle where you're just shitting on them. Exactly like that. Two, three, four, five, six. Ok, 
Okay, first ability. Bop, bop, bop. Let's try to flank. Let's try to find the flank angle. Okay, Koki is there. Ultimate soon. Okay. Oh, you can spam your first ability the whole time, by the way. Let's find them. Ninja! I'm gonna assassinate a tank, by the way. I'm not gonna use ultimate quite yet. Three, four, five, six. Rampage. Hmm. I feel like I would run Riftmaker into Void. And uh, I mean, I think I would run Infinity Orb, honestly. Okay. Ah, you can see! You can see immediately when you have the stacks up. Three, pop, six. Okay. You have that bar. You have that bar under your mana thing where you can see the amount of stacks you already have. Oh. Trolling. Oh, what is the bar otherwise? I think it must be the stacks, right? No, I guess I don't see it right now. I see it only against champions. What is that bar exactly? Attack speed? Let's see. This is what you wanna do. Alright, why am I not resetting? Ah, because I'm okay, I'm moving while looking something up. Okay, what stuff now? To be fair, the Lianri synergy is insane amount of percentage damage. I think it's very good against tanks right now. I can see why he's going for it. I can totally see it. Did you see the poison pop? No. Did you see how I just one-shotted and wiped them? Ooh, wait. Okay, let's end it. GG's. I wonder if I should do an introduction, actually. Because this was a cracked fight. Oh, it showed this potential. I think it showed this potential pretty well now. I can't end the game. Never mind. You see, this is the potential of AP Twitch. Like... You stack them up, you pop them, boom, nuked. You do so much damage. And you can hit them from so far away with frontline as well. I think it's a good showcase of the potential. I mean, yes, I'm turbo fat, but at the same time... Um, do you guys think I would pop like this in a normal challenger game? I think yes. You guys might not believe me, but every time you don't believe me, I prove you guys wrong, so... Ooh, this is perfect. See, for, this was the perfect angle! Over the wall you wipe them while they can't hit you. Perfect angle. This is exactly what you want every single time in a team fight. From far away, you're poisoning them. They're taking crew damage. They're taking from Leandri percentage damage as well. 
and then you pop the third ability once they have six marks and then boom they are gone perfect example on how a team fight on twitch would look like by the way perfect example but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it this is gonna be the first game on twitch first game on twitch i'm gonna be live streaming in a bit and i hope you guys will join in as well uh to see how i will play uh, jungle twitch as well so make sure to leave a like and subscribe that's me it wait how much damage did i do 60k damage uh make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i see you guys next time Bam. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright